They are the last human. Once there were more. But long ago, war followed disaster in this dying world, and the humans are dying with it. Our numbers dwindled until just Yule, Kais, and I remain. Cirrus and her two guardians. We swore we would protect her. We swore we would save you all. Together, you said, Caius, this time it would be different. You alone had lived through countless lives of the Cirrus, watching her death and rebirth. But together we would find a way to save her from the horrible fate that had befallen every Cirrus throughout history. But you left, Caius. To save her, you said. Caius, you swore you would protect her, but you left. I couldn't do it on my own. Now she's dead. How can you save her now? Every time you all saw the future and drained her life. You both knew that, and you never told me. And now I'm alone. A world without you, you all, is no world at all. I know now where you've gone, Caius. You still need to save her. No, she's gone. But you're wrong. Do you think you all would want it that way? Do you think it would make her happy? You know it wouldn't. She wouldn't want you to destroy time for her. You always did take the most straightforward path. I guess there's only one thing to do. Instead of destroying the past, I'll fix the past. You'll then never see the future again if everything is set to rights. There'll be no dangers, no wars. If I can stop all of it happening, then she need never be tormented by her visions again. People will live in this world again, and there will be Yule again. And she will be happy. Hello, Natalie. Thank you. Thank you. How are you today? Uh, quite sweaty. Yes, it is pretty warm in here, isn't it? Tell us, Natalie, about this costume, this beautiful artwork done here, and this, these swords as well. Yes, there's two swords. Oh, it's two swords. Two, two swords, swords in one. one. It's like Danos. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all handcrafted by you? Yeah, it's all handcrafted. It's got lovely uh, carving. All the carvings all the way up the sword there, guys. Carving the handles. And it does transform, but it takes quite a while. <laughs> just wait up, I'm going to dress on my sword, and then you'll be really sorry. <laughs> just wait a second. That's right. And you've got all this lovely embroidery going on here. Yes, yes, I have some down there, and there, and there. Wow. Um, I spent 16 seasons of Survivor hand embroidering. I'm not really sure if that's a, that, that's a good thing or a torturous labor. Of it. Well, you can't watch anime because it's got subtitles. It's true enough, true enough. But you can watch it in dub, you can watch Spike Spencer and... Great! But then you miss the fights because you're not watching. It's true, it's true. You've got to pay all attention to anime, don't we? Uh, and so it took you such a long time to do all this yes, embroidery. Yes, 200 hours. 200 hours? Something like that. Wow. So it's, uh, and all this lovely jewellery here. Yes, he, of course it's um, Square Enix, so they have to put in jewellery on boys. And, of course, um, of course. So it's very manly to wear lots jewellery. Of, and, you know, flowers on the embroidery. Yes. It's a must. Great. Well, pass me that microphone. Your costume is absolutely amazing. Stand there, do some poses, and we'll take some great photos of you. Pretty big. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause to Natalie!